Well, hello there. I'm Kim Berry, editor of Food and Drink Business, coming to you today from Sydney's glorious northern beaches uh, in a vague attempt to avoid my cats that seem intent on demanding all of my attention when I'm recording this. Bubs Australia had a whoppingly successful third quarter, recording a revenue of 19.7 million. That's 67% up on the corresponding period last year. Its sales to China more than doubled, but it also had uh, increased demand across the board. The company has now exceeded its financial, uh, last financial year's uh, complete uh, full year revenue. Uh, and to date, that's sitting at 46.8 million. So Bubs Australia is having, <laughs> having quite a nice time at the moment. Bega Cheese had a win yesterday or earlier in the week. It won uh, with a full court of the, in the full court of the federal court in its long-running legal bat battle against Kraft. Uh, in 2017, the company bought peanut butter products and the Kraft factory from Mondelez and uh, gave, the, gave the packaging a little bit of a zhuzh with its own, uh, with its own logo and a little bit of a spruce but kept the yellow lid and the yellow label, and that has been what has been in contention. But the full court has found, the federal court has found in its favour. So, uh, Bega not having a bad week either. The Australian Food and Grocery Council has is announced that it's going to be working with the federal government uh, to grow domestic manufacturing as well as strengthening global supply chains in light of COVID-19. I think it'll be really interesting to watch how that actually develops and what that actually looks like. So one of the things in uh, what happens in a pandemic is everyone does actually start to take hygiene and hand washing quite seriously. But uh, earlier this week on the ABC's 7.30 report, a professor from the Kirby Institute told uh, Norman Swan that people should be washing their vegetables in soapy water. <laughs> Produce Marketing Association has since been in high gear, letting everyone know that that is not necessary and please do not wash your lettuce in soapy water. Uh, in, and also we had a story this week come from Clean Corp, who in March had a thousand more calls than it normally does in terms of antiviral cleaning and uh, what, you know, and, and inquiring about it and what that means. Uh, and Jet Technology has actually come out with a new micro, um, my, microbial film that can be used in food packaging. Uh, and also imagine how fantastic that would be that if over the Easter weekend you could have wrapped your chocolate in a microbial foil so that your brothers and your sisters, even if they touched your eggs, they were still okay. So that's it for this week. I'm Kim Berry. Uh, please don't forget to visit the website, sign up for our bi-weekly uh, e-newsletters as well as my delightful face in your inbox every Thursday for all the news on the food and beverage manufacturing sector. Uh, and with that, over and out.